Hi friends, it's Ter here. I'm creating a mini album for We Are Memory Keepers with their lovely Alpa punch boards and I'm super excited to show you how the mini book was done. Um, I first created the pages. Um, I cut lots of patterned paper from Maricode line from American Crafts and also lots and lots of white cardstock. Um, I'm going to use the change tool for to, um, for binding this book and uh, I want to make sure that the little album of mine is thick enough so it will last long and uh, I didn't trust to only to pattern it papers I wanted to add some cardstock between the pages. Uh, these pages are four by five inches um, sized. Um, this is like the basic size of the pages but there are also wider and taller and much smaller pages as you can see later but this is the basic size and uh, there is two sheets of patterned paper uh, holding two sheets of cardstock in the middle and um, the uh, white cardstock will be the part that hangs the book uh, it will be the part that uh, goes through the cinch machine so um, that's why I wanted to make sure that there is a thick piece of page um, hanging the book from the metal wire. Um, I made several of these pages and um, then I decided that I will make also lots of these um, tiny word embellishments and um, you can use this Alpa uh, punch board the way that you add all those letters at once but uh, I decided that I want to have a bit uh, smaller gaps um, between each letter so that's why I'm using the lovely tool this way. Both are good but I chose to use this for this book. Um, I'm using a bit darker or lighter uh, color to back this word just to make sure that the word is like popping up enough. Um, and I'm using also these lower cases, but you can also mix these two, like um, adding the first letter with the upper cases and rest with the um, lower cases or uh, anything you want. I think they are working great together and there's also all those specialities like smiley faces and planes and arrows and lots of those symbols and also adding another sheet of uh, pink uh, patterned paper here too and now they are ready to go to my small mini album um, next phase is to decorate the pages and as you can see I have lots of those words uh, ready to go but um, uh, the theme of this book is my creativity as you can see that's punch, uh, punch it straight to the first page of this book um, I'm telling a story of how I'm creating my scrapbook layouts or anything that I do like this mini album and then photographing it and then editing the photos or editing the videos and posting it to social media and to blogs or the whole creative process I decided that it's such 
important part of my life that it needs to be somewhere written down like really detailed vers a version of how I do and what I do and when I do. And this will be the mini album holding all that information here. Also, there, there will be pages like this where it's only one piece of ephemera and that's it because I want to have some balanced loop here. Um, there are bigger photographs and smaller ones and um, I decided to frame a couple of these photos just to make sure that the photographs are actually showing enough themselves from the uh, fl uh, flower background here um, and I thought that dark green patented paper will do the job pretty well. Um, I'm using glue, double-sided tape and foam dots and foam tape to adhere all the um, photographs and embellishments and everything. I like to have lots of variety of that, um, different dimensions and shadows and layers. Anyway, um, I love these bows from the Marigold line and decided to have lots of them for this book and one of these pages will be as simple as this. There's two photos and one bow and it's wonderful like that. Um, the covers are quite fun. <laughs> um, we Are Memory Keepers has this um, plastic sheets. Um, this is also a plastic sheet, uh, though it's quite thick one because it's from hardware store. It's a leftover from my father and I decided to use this one first and then move forward to um, those actually crafty uh, plastics. But um, I'm using these first as I like to be that kind of ecologic ecological? Would that be the better word? Anyway, um, to make sure that there's uh, scraps used whenever possible. Uh, I'm using really sharp knife to make these cuts because it's like one or two millimeters thick so it doesn't... Um, I, I wouldn't do this cutting with scissors because the edges would be like really bad looking. Um, anyway, um, like said, I'm using Cinch to bind this book and I actually had to use uh, some time to make sure that I'm making the cuts exactly in the middle of that cardstock, uh, white cardstock area. Um, but with a little bit of math and a um, couple of tries, I, I actually got it quite good. Um, I would recommend always to do a sample page or uh, try out the shinch tool to some kind of scrap paper or something just to make sure that your work isn't um, going to the waste paper basket. Um, but when you know what to do and you have the tool ready to go, it will do so nice job and quickly. Um, I decided to add another bow, as there is so much bows already in this book, um, to do these, uh, add them between those wires and it actually worked out pretty well. You just need to know where to put this bow um, to make sure that it's, it's in the right place. But as you can see, if you do it like this, it will look quite nice.
Thank you all for watching and thank you for commenting and and I hope you have fun creating your own mini book. If you have any questions, please just write them down and we will see you again soon. Bye!